Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We've got an interesting scenario for content today as a part of FIFA 23 preseason. Of course, week one is ending. That means we have cards like the Ronaldo, the Messi, and these cards that are in packs right now going out of packs, new ones coming in. What's our SBC content going to be? More cover star icons? Or are they going to go the route like they did with Jude Bellingham a couple weeks ago and give us more of those transferred or maybe even showdown type players? A lot of questions today, but my biggest question revolves around FC24. Is EA about to give us the best pack we've ever seen for a redeemable in the next FIFA type of objective today in this game? We're going to talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Hey, we got to start by talking about yesterday's content. And actually, the only content we have to talk about is marquee matchups, unless you hit something big from the 94 plus player pick, which, you know, that was our content yesterday. Just the more grinding, crafting the menus. Today's really the content, guys. Let's move right on to that because we should actually get something today. We got SBCs that are expiring. If you have not finished Holland or Mudrik, I uh, just finished Holland yesterday, a little bit behind on that one, but those SBCs are expiring today. And a couple of the upgrade packs, the 90 plus player pick, which I don't think a ton of people are doing, but that SBC is going away today. All the other SBCs are still going to be around 94 plus player pick the 85 times 10 guys. Those are still going to be around. Those don't expire until later into the weekend, but Today, it's all about what is going to be in packs right now. This is the biggest question for me because we all know that the pack grind, it's been okay, but it hasn't been as good since EA went from footies batch three to preseason batch number one or footies re-release. All right, preseason re-release batch number one. We have like teams one through three of footies re-released with some tots cards and some other really random promo cards right that's kind of that kind of makes up what is in packs right now now is ea gonna do what seems kind of obvious today or are they gonna mix it up and do something a little bit different i hope that it's the latter because today could actually be a step down in terms of what's in packs if EA go ahead and do what it seems like they might do. Now, I'm going to get a really quick squad here for an 85 times 10 sorted so that we can do an 85 times 10 and open one up just for the fun of it. But with the re-release that is going out of packs today, again, like we said, you got the Ronaldo, you got the Messi, all the cards that are in packs right now, right here, 99 Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar. That's been the big chase, right? You've got Di Maria, you've had Van Dyke, you've had Pele, you've had Tots Mbappe in there as well. Today... Is EA going to take out the players that were in batches one through three of footies and replace it with teams four through six of footies? Think about it, right? We've got 99 Mbappe, 98 Lucio that could be in packs today. Remember team five of footies, you had the Ginola card, you had the 98 Rash for the 99 Benzema, and then in team six of footies, you had the 99 Lewandowski, the 98 Marquisio, the Donnarumma, the Dybala. Those players were all in packs for kind of like the second half of footies. And if preseason is going to be a three-week promo, which EA almost makes it seem like it is going to be, we might have two or three different best ofs, and that might include Messi and Ronaldo's footies cards not being in packs, which is why I at least want to hit one more 85 times 10. Um, of course, you can still pack them from the 94 plus player pick, but if those cards from teams four through six of footies are going to be in packs today, in my opinion, that's a step down, honestly, from where we have been in this past week, because a lot of us were chasing the Messi and the Ronaldo. Wow, Pushkas right there. I don't see him very often, but I guess you could say, Nate, I want to chase the Mbappe. I want to chase the Lucio because those are very rare cards. That'll be a nice chase. But I hope that EA somehow still include Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, and some of the best cards that are in packs right now again in packs this week. Honestly, EA, just give us a second re-release with all of the footies cards in packs. The same or a lot of the great team of the season cards you have done, a lot of the great shapeshifters as well, and just make it the same insane big batch of all the footies, a lot of shapeshifters, a lot of tots cards, make it a massive batch of cards, make the 85 times 10 stupid good again for the last two weeks or the last week and a half on this game because let's face it, it is September 8th and that means we have one week, like a week and a half, maybe even less than that before it's truly FC24 hype full on. So I hope they do that today, right? That's the impacts conversation. I have worries about it, but we'll have to see if they do something nice. Now let's talk about SBCs a little bit more as well in relation to the FIFA 23 SBCs not relating to FC24. We talked about it in yesterday's video. We still could get one last massive cover star icon. Maybe it's Beckham. Maybe it's Vieira. 
Maybe it's R9. There's no leaks as of right now. But if EA is going to drop a big icon SBC for a cover star, it's going to be one of those couple players. And, uh, I mean, 22 days left on Henri. Realistically, they need to drop something today. And they have to make it semi-easy to complete. Nobody wants to do 30 squads like we had to do for Ronaldinho or however many squads it was. I don't remember at this point crazy amount of squads for Dino. Was it 30 squads? I don't even remember, but 33 squads. That's right. Whatever they drop for an icon today, if we get one, or even if they don't drop an icon and give us a footies player, or not a footies player, but a transfer player like Jude Bellingham, uh, like they did a couple of weeks ago, if they're going to give us a big time SBC, it can't be more than like 10, 15 squads, because who wants to grind that much at this stage of the game? even though it's not that hard to complete with 85 times 10s and all the cards that are in packs. So I do expect some sort of player SBC today. Is it going to be a transfer or a showdown or a cover star icon? I don't know. I really hope it's a cover star icon. Drop us that R9 today and make us really, really happy. Now, of course, we mentioned the 90 plus player pick going away, which some of you guys might be like, Nate, I haven't done a 90 plus player pick in a couple of weeks, but I still think maybe some of you guys trying to hit a VVD, if you're trying to hit maybe one of the top team of the season cards, like I don't know if you haven't hit Nkunku yet or something like that, that's kind of what you're going for out of these, um, or maybe even like a Shapeshifters premium card, I don't even know what you might be hunting out of this, I feel like it's the 94 plus player pick that is what everybody's doing right now, this is going away today, I would expect it to get re-released just because it's another SBC that EA could put out that people might be doing right now in this game. So watch out for that as well today. But definitely a player SBC. Definitely a refresh of a 90 plus or maybe even a little bit better. 91 plus, 92 plus should be re-released today as well. But just keep going for the 94 pluses. That is where the hype is. Now, the other big conversation we have to have today, guys, is around the carry over rewards from FIFA 23, right? All the stuff that we've been doing, the join the club objective, which I've been playing games for. I got one more game to play for La Liga and I got this one done. This objective is not going away. And that's where the confusion for me begins. This has nine days, 13 hours left on it. Join the club number one. But according to the website, we're getting another join the club objective today. And we're also getting another new era if you guys did the new era objective it was very easy that expires today i think we're going to be getting a new one and probably a new sbc as well because the sbc expires where we will be able to get new rewards now for the new era it's basically the exact same thing according to ea's website we are going to be getting another two rare gold players pack base hero loan and a coin boost right thousand coins five games that's the exact same as it was for last week's new era one again very easy to do that's a must do you turn in what is it 11 bronze players for that new era 85 plus player pick and then you get this stuff in fc24 this is where i have questions today guys on ea's website it says week two of the join the club two objective and 82 times 10 players pack. Um, if we're actually gonna be going and doing FIFA 23 objectives to get an 82 times 10 pack that we will open in FC 24, that's insane. That seems way too good to be true because EA's never given us a pack that good to start a new FIFA. It's always like these packs that we've gotten so far, right? The three rare gold players from the different leagues, right? The eFigs league packs for all the top five leagues, right? These right here, that's what we're used to seeing or the two rare gold players packs. I'm confused by this and next week's join the club objectives because the way this reads makes it seem like we might be actually getting an 82 times 10 to save and get an FC 24. Can you imagine how overpowered and how good an 82 times 10 would be in the first month of the game? Like that is ridiculous. We never get an SBC pack like that, that early on in the game. Those packs don't exist until like November or December in this game. So that one's a head scratcher for me because I just don't, that doesn't seem like EA to release a pack that good. But that's kind of what it reads on the website, unless EA has mistakenly labeled the FIFA 23 packs instead of the FC 24 packs. I don't know, guys. That's one of my biggest questions for today. It seems too good to be true, and it probably is. Knowing the way EA do things with the preseason rewards in years past, 
it's probably not going to be an 82 times 10 that will actually carry over into FC24. I, I'm just guessing that the website might be wrong. I don't know because that just seems way too crazy. And then if you look at week three for next week, an 83 times five and an 84 times three, it just seems too good to be true. So I'm not trying to read into it too much and get overly excited. More so what I'm trying to say is, I'm just gonna look at the content drop today and if we are actually getting those packs, it's gonna be 100% ridiculous uh, and crazy madness because that is, if it's an 82 times 10, you're going to have to get that pack done. Like no questions asked, whatever EA, tell us that we have to do to get that uh, pack in FC24 on October 12th or whatever the date is. That's insane. So I don't know. Just keep an eye out for that today. That seems a bit too crazy. Um, but that's the one number one thing that I'm going to be looking out for today on this game. Apart uh, also alongside with not apart with alongside with the cards that are going to be in packs. Once again, um, I'm very interested to see what EA do with that because there's just a crazy amount of hype potential here but also they could let us down big time with what they're gonna maybe re-release in packs today as well. If you have any cards that are from team four through six, any of those cards that we looked at for footies cards that are still inflated in price, uh, like Dybala, he's gonna drop a ton getting re-released back into packs today for sure. I would imagine Marquisio is gonna drop, Mbappe's probably gonna drop, right? Ronaldo was not in packs last week until this last Friday, dropped from 15 million extinct into the 9 million coin range. Alaba is going to drop for sure. Lewandowski is going to drop for sure. I would even say Donnarumma is going to drop a lot. He's going to be a very packable card. And of course, if he is really re-released back into packs, he was what, 50k, 40k before he um, went out of packs for the last week. So he's probably going to go right back down to that range if that is what EA do. So Again, I'm doing another 85 times 10 right quick here just so that we have a chance at packing Messi or Ronaldo one of these last times from an 85 times 10 because you never know. But I'm most interested today for what's in packs, how much EA is going to give us to try to pack and how grindable the fodder is going to be once again. But then also those FC24 awards because it seems way too good to be true um, for that there. So also they may change up a few of the team of the season cards look at that we're getting footies man but not the right ones insignia at the back um they maybe change up some of the team of the seasons that are in packs as well like right now like modric tots is not in packs holland doesn't have a special card that's in packs they could put his team of the season back in that would make um his card on the market drop a bit in terms of fodder so just kind of watch out for that there too and the last thing i want to point out guys related to fc24 is some news that ea tweeted out yesterday relating to content that we're going to see during the pre-order side of things during FC24. Enzo Fernandez and Federico Chiesa are the first two cards. EA basically leaked it before all the other leakers could get their hands on this information. Enzo and Chiesa are mad ready. They are going to be two cards that are a part of the Nike promo that is only going to run during early access from September 22nd to September 29th, that first promo Friday of the year, only available if you got the ultimate edition of the game. Those are gonna be two players that are in the promo. We still don't exactly know what this promo is about. It's from what we even think about and are speculating. It might not be that big of a W because it gives us the same kind of vibes as the Adidas numbers up promo, but we don't know that for sure, right? We have to imagine that these cards would be in packs, um, but I don't know if they're live or they're upgrading like the adidas numbers up were but again adidas nike very similar brands hopefully that's not the case with these but these two cards could be pretty good there's no confirmed stats there's no confirmed ratings or anything with these cards there are a lot of concepts floating around twitter but those are not leaks guys those are predictions and concept cards all we know is that kiesa and enzo are going to be a part of the nike promo and uh that's about all that we know right now is that it is a nike specific promo and we have some rumors and some guesses, but nothing really concrete from EA. Hoping that we get some more news and information from EA as well relating to that here very soon as well on this game. Now, really quick, you might also you might be asking like, Nate, where in the world are your coins, bro? Well, today or yesterday, we did something pretty fantastic. We did our yearly extinction project of making a card go extinct on the market. And this year, of course, it had to be him. Foot birthday Kaka. Now he's back on the market, but he's a lot more rare than he was because um, myself and the chat included yesterday on stream, we bought all the Kakas. He went from 70,000 coins to extinct at 170K, his max price. And now uh, he's back down a little bit, but he's in packs. That's the only reason why he got listed back up because people are packing in tradable. 
um, because he's been in packs this past week as a part of the preseason re-release. So he's maybe going out of packs today, but that's why I have no coins. So watch out for maybe a TikTok video or some fun alongside of that. It's something that we kind of do at the end of the year each year is pick a card that was kind of a menace to society or some card that maybe lost us coins or was annoying to play against in this past year of FIFA. And we buy them up and they make them go to extinct. Of course, he's not actually extinct, but it was for a short period of time. He was. So it was fun. It was amazing. And he's still back on the market. So no harm, no foul. If you wanted to use Football Take account, he is there. It's not too much market manipulation. But that is why my coins are at 36K because I bought 2 million worth of Kaka, quick sold them all. Bought a couple more from the quick sell value, and here we are. So that's kind of like my coins done, but you don't even need coins right now in this game. If you have enough fodder, you can just do objectives 85 times 10s and get every single SBC that you need to get done. So hopefully today as well, EA drop a great player SBC that gives us a little motivation to grind the menus a little bit more. And again, I really hope that the Messi, the Ronaldo, the Neymar are in packs once again today because that would make the grind so much better and so much more, at least would make me want to play a little bit more at this stage of the game but i'm really interested in those fc24 awards guys watch objectives watch sbcs today specifically for that but if you enjoyed today's video drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new see you guys on the stream today where we will uncover it all explain it all and see what ea dropped for week two of preseason thanks for watching the video today guys i appreciate all of you it's been nathan account see you guys on the stream today peace